Dr. Carolyn Myers, rarely do we have a CEO with the kind of background that you have. We don't usually lead with, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? But I loved your quote, I create, I deal, I grow. Tell us more about what got you to decide to become a CEO of a new company. I, uh, uh, I have worked in the pharmaceutical industry for over 30 years now, and very quickly, when I started working in, in the industry, I moved up the ladder. And, uh, you know, for most of my career, I have held very senior level positions in the United States in the corporate offices of, many, of a number of um, large cap pharmaceutical companies. I mean, I've been the president of two different uh, pharmaceutical business units and uh, been very successful in, in building those two units. And, you know, that gave me the appetite to say, there's gotta be more. Um, I, 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 want, I want to be able to lead something. I want to cre create something on my own, which is really what got me into, uh, you know, starting the company Fendex and, and getting us to where we are today and having the vision to be able to continue to move us forward into the future and really grow this company to success. Uh, and of course, with your background of having been very successful, you do understand the, the power of an amazing team. Your entire team is, is exceptionally well qualified for this role, arguably overqualified. Yes. And, you know, I, I remember reaching out to Andrea. I have, Andrea is my COO. I, uh, I've known Andrea for a very long time. We worked together when I lived in Toronto. And I think, you know, off and on we would connect. Uh, but I would say it was probably 20 years since we had worked together, or maybe even longer. And I called her because I, I'm like, I know one person that if I'm going to make this company successful, this Fendex, uh, I got to see what Andrea is doing. And, um, you know, she was employed at the time. Uh, uh, you know, she ended up leaving and joining Fendex full time, which uh, which I was so happy about because I'll tell you, the two of us are synergistic together. Uh, I'm the strategist, the visionary. She's the operator. And I'm telling you, we just work so well together. And it's a great, strong female team. And again, my CFO it took me a long time to find Rose, but I'll tell you, we are a, a dynamic trio, uh, us three women. And, and I'm proud to say that, you know, of my senior management, we're all female. <laughs> what I'm going to do is next, I'm going to talk to you about your 10 story vantage point, because we can talk about how your products are moving towards revenue already, but you are an infectious disease control company that's going to be looking at M&A for growth and expansion. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, we do have products in our pipeline, as you mentioned. You know, Down the road, we, we potentially will be revenue generating with our products. However, to really grow a company, you can't just grow it organically. And I know this from my background. I have a very strong M&A uh, licensing background. And it's absolutely imperative to bring in uh, additional assets to to truly grow and potentially assets that are accretive, uh, you know, into the organization. So it, it, that's what we're doing at Fendex. We're we're obviously focused on our internal product pipeline, which is the spray and film technology, but we're also looking at opportunities in the infectious disease control space that we potentially could license, acquire, or merge or with the company or acquire the, the company entirely. So we're looking at all those those possibilities. And again, you know, we're under the umbrella of infectious disease control, which which means it's a large there's a large uh, opportunity of applications that we can potentially look at to bring into the company. And so presently you're utilizing nanotechnology and you have two product streams. Is that correct? Yes, uh, the one is that we've created a film called Repel Rot Film, and the nanotechnology is on the surface of that film. We call it a nano surface, and that surface basically repels anything that uh, comes in contact with it. And as a consequence of that, 
it actually significantly reduces the, tran the transmission in the case of bacteria and viruses. So that's one of our applications of the nanotechnology. The other one is to almost like a next generation film. It's actually, rather than putting a film on a surface, you spray, the f you spray and you form a film. Uh, on a surface. And that's our spray nanotechnology. It's still in its early stage of development, but it, it, you know, we, it's very promising and we're excited about it because it has the potential obviously to be easier to apply, but in addition, the potential to expand market opportunities beyond what we're looking at for the film, which is healthcare and other high touch, high traffic uh, industries like schools, transportation, et cetera. Newly listed, for more information on Fendex, Fendex Technologies, please go to the following website. Dr. Carolyn Myers, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, it's been great. Thank you, Tracy.